We are here at the Maruti Suzuki Pavilion at the Auto Expo 2023 and behind me is one of the most exciting cars to have been displayed by Maruti Suzuki. It's the first electric concept and I have with me the Chief Technical Officer of Maruti Suzuki, Mr. C.V. Raman, to talk about the car. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, really Vincent. good looking and very exciting to finally have an uh, electric vehicle concept from uh, Maruti. Please tell us about this uh, beautiful car. So this is a concept EVX, which is a global unveil uh, from Suzuki. Uh, and uh, it's an emotional, versatile cruiser, uh, as uh, you can see. And uh, it is, uh, the underpinnings are a brand new platform, a EV, dedicated EV platform. Uh, which will have a kind of a skateboard. This has been okay. developed by uh, SMC Suzuki. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, you know we have a, a 50, a 60 kilowatt uh, battery pack, a 550 kilometer range. And as you can see from a design perspective on the interior, uh, very high seating uh, with, because of the large wheelbase, a lot, lot of interior space. Uh, and uh, from the outside, uh, high uh, hood line uh, and then a very strong fascia and also on the side you can see uh, you know the wheel arches are you know uh, sculpted and so aggressive overall aggressive uh, yeah, SUV yes. uh, design so to speak uh, and uh, our intention is that we will be bringing this vehicle as a production version uh, in 2025 it's going to be based on this theme uh, and what you will see in 2025, we will talk about it at that at a later date. Uh, and uh, our key uh, intention is to build the ecosystem of uh, electric vehicles because if we are going foreign into electric vehicles, we just not just manufacturing, but we also need to start looking at aggregates. And one of the biggest aggregate is uh, the battery. Uh, and so we are going to localize the battery. Uh, and the total investment committed is 10,000 crores uh, and uh, that is for the EV plant as well as for the battery. So it's going to be a separate like plant that will make the battery, yes. uh, not the existing uh, hybrid, uh, hybrid battery. battery no. It will be different and uh, obviously uh, as we go along, obviously we need to look at other uh, opportunities but yes, today we have the EVX which is going to go into a production. Uh, and will this be the first uh, electric vehicle from uh, Maruti Suzuki? Uh, yes, this will be the first uh, uh, global model from Suzuki as well as uh, from Maruti Suzuki, uh, which is going to be made in India. Uh, and uh, yes, and we are very excited uh, with the design. Uh, and uh, we need to work uh, on the ecosystem, as I said. Uh, towards our you know pillar of one of the pillars uh, of the auto expo our theme is uh, key theme is sustainability so this will help us in our uh, journey towards that so uh, very excited to see this this will be a sub 4 meter it doesn't really matter for electric vehicles because uh, the yeah. duty structure is like that yes. so you could uh, expand it a little also and give it true. more space but what do you have in mind for true. This? what we have showcased here is a 4.3 meter and with a 1800 millimeter width and a 1600 millimeter height as you rightly pointed out it is possible to you know and in its current avatar also it can come in the market because there is no gst there you know different uh, classification so yes uh, also from a 60 kilowatt battery uh, pack perspective uh, we would require a particular wheel wheel base uh, and the uh, for the, the length pack. of the battery pack and so therefore i think uh, more or less the uh, and this can uh, spew more uh, body shapes uh, different, different uh, definitely body shapes are possible uh, and uh, also two motor setup uh, one motor setup yes uh, yeah absolutely uh, i think that's a great point you brought out 4x4 is also one thing which we are looking at because as a uh, SUV concept we are looking at uh, moving towards a 4x4 also so it will have uh, obviously a, a rear motor too uh, uh, to have the four wheel drive capability anything else that you can reveal about this <laughs> <laughs> at this point of time that's all that I have uh, for you uh, but needless to say but our is, commitment is there battery pack is standard there won't be different uh, variations on this battery pack or at this point of time this is what we have thought but of course during the production we are 60 kilowatt is developed. quite a big uh, quite a large number. number yes 
uh, it will be pricey even though by 2025 uh, prices of <laughs> batteries may go down but uh, given the current situation it doesn't look like it uh, yes so uh, i mean smaller battery packs because with 60 kilo uh, 60 kilowatt uh, you can look at a huge range which may not be required for typical city usage uh, and especially yeah. the uh, smaller cities where i think uh, maruti has a big advantage and where people can adopt uh, electric vehicles very quickly so i will uh, answer that a little differently when we are talking about sustainability we are looking at different technologies and we have a wide range of products as you rightly pointed out and we have also uh, tire to tire three city customers and we have the metro customers also uh, and all these segments uh, require certain interventions from a sustainability perspective and today we have showcased cng flex fuel uh, and uh, uh, going forward we will have uh, you know uh, uh, the compressed biogas also as one of the you know technologies which will give that sustainability we already have hybrid both mild as well as strong hybrid and the ev technology is going to complement and all these technologies across the uh, segments uh, we will be able to uh, have some intervention of sustainable technology which will create a value proposition reduce the carbon footprint for each of those so that's the kind of thought all of them will be you know uh, all together in a way uh, and not one against the other or you know uh, one is going to be dropped and another thing is going to come so. so going ahead with the first vehicle which is on an all electric dedicated all electric platform will be as you said huge investment required uh, will be quite a lot of uh, uh, inputs going in so a more expensive vehicle than a modification of one of the current platforms for electric vehicle wouldn't that have been done earlier and sooner and at a lower cost see uh, Parts are available and every manufacturer has a different uh, view on that and so therefore uh, I would not like to comment on what is being done but options are both options are available. But having said that I think we are going up on a grounds up uh, platform because we also want to ensure that uh, uh, the, uh, the safety uh, for the battery uh, pack and all of that is also uh, something which we need to build into that, uh, into the product. And also from uh, 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 the weight perspective, because uh, when you're talking about 60 kilowatt, the weight is also high. So obviously the platform also needs uh, to be uh, strengthened. And so, which is a choice? So ground up, which is something which can be looked at for future, rather than just, just this. And uh, also, you know, when you start looking at one versus the other, there are pluses and minuses. But when you are looking at the EV proposition, maybe uh, may, people would want to look at a really different kind of vehicle compared to what is an ICE avatar in a way. So that's how uh, we are looking at the EV at this point of time. But having said that, opportunities are there to look at different things. Uh, and we'll. Uh, how much work has uh, happened in India on uh, developing this uh, electric vehicle platform and? How much work will happen in the future developing this into a... We will be only doing the localization part of it. So uh, this will be a global... So, uh, and this will be a global uh, development. Uh, but local uh, localization is going to be there. Local validation is going to be there. So those kind of things we will, you know, obviously we will work uh, with Suzuki Global to uh, launch it. Great talking with you, Raman-san, as always. Uh, look forward to this car on the roads. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.